I initially grew up in St. Louis, and what brought me back to the Siteman Cancer Center in St. Louis, Missouri, is not just the fact that it's my hometown, but it's a world-class institution. And I believe that it's a place that's leading new advances in patient care, uh, both from a clinical standpoint and from a research standpoint. And so I've really appreciated being able to work with experts in all of the respective fields um, that are needed to take care of patients with musculoskeletal tumors. And so uh, I think that we have an excellent hospital and clinical uh, teams to take care of our patients, both from a nursing standpoint on the inpatient side and outpatient side in our clinics, as well as our research infrastructure here. So our patients are the reason we're able to do this research. And so uh, patients who are very generous with their time and effort um, to allow us to take their biopsy specimens or to enroll them in clinical trials, I think is part of what makes Siteman stand apart. Sarcoma is a rare diagnosis and there are many clinical trials for soft tissue and bone sarcomas that aren't available at other places that we have access to here at Siteman Cancer Center. And because of that, I'm able to see them as a surgeon and offer them care from a surgical standpoint. And so the medical oncology and the surgical oncologists work hand in hand to treat patients and having everybody in one place, I think is really the key to deliver good patient care. I became a doctor after um, some experiences in college uh, where I was able to shadow some physicians in the emergency department actually at Barnes Jewish Hospital. I was a, a college student at Washington University in St. Louis and was unsure if I wanted to become a physician or not. And I was able to see the impact that the physicians had on patients in their lives. After further investigation, I found that orthopedic surgery was a good fit uh, for me because I liked connecting patients uh, uh, back to their hobbies and treating them for musculoskeletal injuries and helping them get back to what made them who they were as individuals. Uh, and then in residency, I was able to work with some teachers in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where I did my residency, who treated patients for bone and muscle tumors. And what really stood out to me about that field was the connection that those physicians were able to make with their patients. Because after surgery, we have to perform surveillance to make sure that there are no, no local recurrences of tumors, we get to know patients for a long period of time. So even after surgery for a sarcoma is successful and the tumor is removed and there's no signs of metastatic disease anywhere else, we see patients for five to 10 years to do surveillance imaging. So we get to know patients over the course of their lives and seeing the connections that my teachers built with their patients is exactly how I wanted to model my career in my life. So one of the great parts about being home in St. Louis, Missouri and, and starting my practice here is the ability to treat people that I consider neighbors and friends. I'm uh, very proud to be from St. Louis. Uh, it means a lot to me to be from here and my entire family is in St. Louis. And so um, being a somewhat small sized Midwestern city, I've had a few encounters um, where I've been able to help patients that I know uh, from my personal life from growing up, uh, whether it be from a hip fracture or a tumor. And I was surprised uh, last week, actually, when I was in my clinic and one of my colleagues was able to uh, FaceTime me with a patient in the room who I knew and happened to be um, someone who helped me with the college admissions process. I was the first person in my family to go to college and this person was very critical in my life in helping me to get to a higher level of education. And I was able to uh, help this person with a hip replacement. And so being uh, back in St. Louis, I hope to have uh, continued experiences like this uh, where I can uh, both serve the community that I'm from, uh, expand healthcare uh, into regions that are I, I, what I consider to be underserved uh, and to participate in the community that I believe in, uh, both from uh, the standpoint of a physician and as a citizen.